Earth went five. What up, diamonds in the building, guys? Here with another reaction video, man. Last time I watched this, I had trouble sleeping, bro. Like, for real, man. But I'm going to do it for y'all, man. Y'all like it, so here we go. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today Subscribe I am unfortunate to both. That's also good as well. Luke's top five just dropped a top ten scary videos, and we want to react to it. That's the bad news and the good news. Let's do this. <laughs> Concerned father Chris from Fargo, North Dakota says that his four-year-old son has been behaving very strangely. He says that over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says, quote, there's a monster in there. Word. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Something truly shocking. Of course, the YouTube guidelines, no one's entering this footage. That's creepy. I think I saw this one. It's as bad as I think it is. Oh, damn, dude. The damn, boy cries man. out when he appears to get shoved out of bed Bro. by... Who do you call in this situation, though? A priest or CPS? You can't call CPS on a, on, on a ghost, bro. Did y'all see that? Some invisible force. Damn! Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that on? the previous owner of their house passed away right in the living room. And he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happened. Bro, like, this is like, if I was a ghost, bro, I will not throw children. I'm gonna do fun ghost stuff. Like, you know, fun ghost stuff. Like, you know, search the world and stuff, bro, and... Go outside and just be a ghost. Like, I'm not throwing babies or children across the room, bro. Opening to their son. Hold the door. A woman named Nadine has been experiencing some very strange and unexplained events in her home in Alabama. Me. Now, many viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. Oh, shit. I heard that. I did too. That's not good. What? What do you hear? My dog might be like this. As for Nadine, she says that me. she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all. But then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter, Blake, and something happens that freaks her right out. Oh, boy. Blakey, yeah. you okay? No. Do you want me to go open the door? Why? Oh, no? Okay. That's the poetry guy's baby. Okay, I, I'm i honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door because she kept pointing to my room saying, Mommy, Mommy, someone's over there. And, and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified, of course, freaking me out. So I went over there and she just said, No, Mommy, come here. Come here, Mommy. Sit, sit, Mommy. Don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed the motherfucking door. And as you can see... <laughs> Dude, she's still terrified. She's still Where terrified. Going? She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me over the door. Where are you going, I am... Dude, I'm terrified. Blakey, mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? No boy got hot. I'll be right back. It's okay. Hey, girls. 
I'll be right back. Ah. Oh. Yeah, dude, that little girl gave me like poltergeist vibes. Man. And now she's hiding her face. Oh. Okay. Baby. You better not. You better not. Okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not legit. What do I do? Little two-year-old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so that Nadine has to close the door to calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity? Kids or just kids what know. was scaring her? Let me know what you think. Bro, when I was a kid, bro, I seen a whole lot more ghost stuff than, than I was like now as an adult. Like, I seen one ghost thing and as like 17 years old. That don't really count, but... That was the last ghost thing I really like seen in real life. But like kids, we really hear and see stuff, bro. Like that's that's not a little lie. Alone on the farm, Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home, but soon Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling oh, and shit. unexplained events. Damn, These strange incidents only seem to Hold occur up, when oh. Tasha is home alone. Hold so up. her husband is a bit skeptical. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, oh. and you think I'm crazy. First time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor, and it just... Soon start to get even weirder. Weirder than because that? the family dogs begin to act really strange. Even weirder. Why are you running? What's wrong with the dog? What's it, bro? That dog looks like ain't right. Where we running from, pup? Where we going? Oh, what we doing? About to get the heck up out of here. Another day, and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to Snapchat when this happens. Look at them destroying the living room over one toy. That's <laughs> Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow like figure moving up the wall right beside her dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be, so she shares her story to TikTok, hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180-year-old farmhouse. No. And then, one night, just after midnight, someone rings Tasha's doorbell. When she checks the security camera, what she sees Chills her to her core. <laughs> After midnight. Well, I see ya. Good boy. Hey, play too much. It's just a ghost pizza, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Word? Yeah, that's pretty creepy. A dark shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. Ghosts get tired. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Let me know what you think. Imaginary friend. 
A woman from Oregon says that her young daughter claims that there's something living in their basement, hiding in the storage area just underneath the stairs. At first, of course, the mother dismisses these claims, just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. But that same day, after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. Oh, hell no. What she sees chills her to her core. Hell no. Bro, it looked like the ghost was doing this, like... Did you see it? A small <laughs> pale hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs before just disappearing. Even creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot <laughs> this bizarre <laughs> apparition. Nick. The little girl even seems what to wave I at something it. that we I can't see. <laughs> now, Wait. unfortunately, this video was shared to the Did internet a without a direct source. So we'll probably never know I mean, just what here. happened here. And you can see the little girl jump back. Like, I think it lunged at her because you can see the little girl jump back. Look at this. Now, Bruh. unfortunately, this video was shared to the internet yeah. without a direct source. Bruh. So what? We'll oh my God, that's wild. What walks in the woods? Reddit user No Recognition 1998 says that this video was caught on a trail cam 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Ah, uh, freaking commercials. I should not have moved the mouse. The wait is over. FanDuel Sportsbook's now live in North yeah, Carolina. Guys, we're not even America's number one sportsbook. Running it through. No edits. Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. So what is this? Oh, no. Motherfucker. Oh, no. Why does it look like it's in a hurry? Right, like he left work. Something walks past God the forest trail shit. camp they at 4.37 in the morning. Fucking in the middle again. of the woods. In the middle of the nowhere. Kill me. God. Curious <laughs> Reddit viewers point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kind of off. They say it's perhaps not even human at all, as it seems to have very pale skin, thin frail arms, and a long neck. Now, is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho? Or is it something else? I leave that for you to decide. Lurking in the darkness. Or is it now, this next uh, extremely popular video was suggested so much, probably close to a thousand times, there was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. So... Yeah. Dustin Frazier says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. Bruh. I just got to work, and I, think I feel like, like, ugh, like all day yeah, today, I felt bad. Almost this last, like a little bit, I felt bad. We seen that one. That was from the last video. Down the street. My house got robbed. I know he's seen that one. A couple of times in his video. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. That's a burglar. Now, with the house's 200-year history, Justin is worried that his renovations Twice. might trigger like some that. paranormal right. presence to act out. But worried Reddit viewers warned Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. A trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. So is this a ghost? Or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? Yeah. You yeah. decide. You were trying to make sure you my house. In yeah. fear. In this creepy video, a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house. The dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him. Nigel, what are you doing? Man, is that a monkey? That's not a dog. No, that's a rat. It's a that's a backwards elephant. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a. It's a monkey from the back. No, me a swamp measles with with the mumps. It's not a dog. 
definitely not a dog. That a dog really big appears cat? to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind like the really shed in their backyard. When the woman slowly looks around the Stand corner, cat, bitch. her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. Now the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. That so with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly animal. what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction what's really hurt, is bitch? strange. That's what you yell. So just what do you think what's this really dog hurt, is bitch? seeing looking back from the darkness? Cursed. A young woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic and that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange, unexplained death 12 years earlier. Her grandfather allegedly took his own life inside the home, but the circumstances were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself, but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. Don't show us the pictures, man. Still afraid of the home and the creepy they got me. album. They got me cut. She asked yeah. anonymous they got you there. Oh, they got oh, cut. They got me. Destroy the album. Oh, the, the pictures got me. Everyone who views name. the photo album becomes ill, and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. So Kaneko explores the old abandoned home and finds the album. I wouldn't do but this. He too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house. I wouldn't do nothing. Leaving behind this. both his phone and camera as he dashes out. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve his equipment and analyze the footage. What they find is downright chilling. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, so Recovered old, footage old, from a phone that was used as a old, static old, camera old, shows a portrait old. of the woman's late grandfather just falling to the floor for unknown old. reasons. But that's not all. Because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. Something terrifying. <laughs> Why would we even do this? This doesn't look like a, a good way to spend a Sunday. Hell no. Don't do it, bro. Absolutely not. Better not. Wow, by the body at best. There's something. There's something. Oh, hell no. This nigga play with dolls. Oh. Nah, bro. Yeah, you're I'm gonna look at that. I'm looking at door. Hold on now. Shit! Oh, get out of there, bro. 
Run! Kenny go see the drop his album. The drop his camera on the floor. Run, Kenny go. Run, oh, I would have bitch. Been in Japan by now, from China. The sound of some activity can be heard. Ooh, they crip walking. Oh yeah. That's that book. Uh, uh, Jimmy, can I help? Come here, motherfucker! What? What's that? Come here, what's Kenny go? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I want to say that's what? Someone's on the sliding door of the cabinet being closed. Who what? Okay. Hopefully that's the I, I don't trust none of this. The footsteps that are moving away are probably his. Nigga. My nigga possessed. Did you see it? Yes. Conico we hears a strange it. sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, Someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a sliding door. Oh. But Kaneko oh. says there was no one else oh. inside that house oh. with him. After analyzing the footage, YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death. Duh. And that his spirit is unable to move on. Duh. Watcher in the woods. He rode that nigga to YouTuber death. Creepy Outdoors frequently sets out to explore and spend the night deep in the wilderness of Canada. On one of these trips, he sets up camp just like any other. Oh, God. I'm sorry, y'all. You know we're going to get all the commercials. night and scouts through the woods with a flashlight and a GoPro camera. But this time, something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. Creepy. I need to get out of here. Yep, damn man. The camper thinks he hears movement in the remote woods, so he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the joke is on him, because just then a high-pitched voice can be heard calling out, "I see you." Oh, f oh, hi. Now uh, he's feeling a little yeah, on edge, uh -huh. and wondering if there might be someone or something. At least somebody out there just shit a little bit when that that just happened, because that shit was rough. Stalking him in the dark woods, he decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. The experienced explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Creepy Outdoors. Yeah, guys, that's the video, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe to Blasphemous HD also, man. Um, Yeah, man, another scary reaction, man. I hope I didn't sleep at night. Stay tuned to the next video. Peace.